Now to the latest on the deadly school shooting in Parkland. Emotional moments in court this morning as some families who lost loved ones in the massacre in Parkland were just feet away from the confessed killer. Public defenders are asking a judge to take them off the case after learning Nicholas Cruz could inherit more than $400,000. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has the story from Fort Lauderdale. He doesn't want the money. He's not going to take the money. In a rare move, confessed Parkland killer Nicholas Cruz makes a gesture in court. He agreed that he does not want more than $430,000 he's eligible to receive from his late mother's annuity investment. His public defenders argued because of that money they recently learned about, he's not indigent and taxpayers should not foot the bill to defend him. We had no choice but to bring this to the court's attention. Um, the court uh, has to make a determination as to whether or not, in light of these circumstances, uh, Mr. Cruz remains indigent and entitled to the appointment of the public defender. It's not enough to cover a defense for him. Deborah Hickson is the wife of murdered athletic director Chris Hickson. She pleaded with the judge to keep the public defenders on the case, saying a change would cause a big delay. The idea of making us have to go through this any longer than necessary is really unbearable. It's just, it's long enough. It's, um, to have to start over, I, I can't even describe to you how that makes me feel. Some argue that money should go to a fund for the victims of the Stoneman Douglas massacre and their families. Hickson doesn't want it. I don't want a penny from him. I don't want crap from him. I just want him to die. I just want him to get the death penalty. Um, if that money becomes available, then he should put it back in the public defender's office so the taxpayers could have their money back. But I don't want crap from him. She tells us just coming to court and being in the same room with the man who confessed to killing her husband was difficult. He's sitting there and he seems so insignificant. He just, he's this insignificant person that completely changed so many people's lives. And the fact that he can sit there and breathe and, and write letters and get letters and, and exercise, it infuriates me to the extent that I just, I just, I'm shaking. The judge did not make a ruling on this. She said at this point she's just going to take it under advisement before making a decision. Meanwhile, she said as for Cruz's defense team, everything should remain the way it is, at least for now. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.